Today, we're at Ozen Life Madu here in the Maldives. We've had a beautiful four nights here and we can't wait to tell you everything you need to know before you book. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Max. I'm Marin. We're Voyager Guru. We post weekly videos with travel tips, hotel reviews, and videos from some of our favorite destinations around the world. So if you don't already, consider subscribing. And of course, if you like this video and you find the content useful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It really helps our videos get more exposure and produce more videos just like this. All right, let's jump right into our review. Our first category is location. Location, we rate five stars. Ozen Life Madu is located in a beautiful lagoon here in South Mali Atoll, and I cannot tell you how how absolutely stunning it is. Many people think that just being close to Male by boat ride is going to be very disruptive in terms of city life and boat traffic, but this lagoon is absolutely stunning. Almost every day we've seen dolphins directly in front of our villa, beautiful hanging out on the edge of the reef in the deep, and they have sunset cruises and snorkeling excursions that go out from here, and there really is a healthy marine life even this close to Male. And now even though Ozen is accessible by boat from Male, it is quite far. It's 45 minutes by boat to South Mali Atoll, where you will find yourself in a beautiful secluded location with a healthy marine life and beautiful, gorgeous white sand all around. The first couple days we had were a little on the windy side, but then when it calmed down, it got so flat, it was incredible. The water was honestly just like a giant swimming pool. There are a lot of hotels in this area because of its proximity to Male. However, you can't actually see any other hotels in the distance from the hotel. And this hotel is a natural island with a different reclaimed areas. They have built onto the resort as time has gone by. It is about 12 years old, so there's a lot of grown-in foliage, a lot of beaches, and a new addition of the beach club, Hadu Bay. There seems to be a stereotype around resorts around Male that are within boating distance, but honestly, Ozen Madu really feels like a secluded experience here in the Maldives. The lagoon itself is beautiful, it's wide, and there are so many excursions to take directly from the resort. The resort is made up of multiple islands. There's the Beach Villa Island that has all of the beach villas, beach pool villas, and family villas, as well as the main facilities island connected to the overwater jetty. There is also a separate staff island where all of the staff live that has a separate staff quarters as well as a separate staff beach. Not having the staff quarters in the middle of the island makes this island super long, thin, and very accessible by walking. The lagoon is beautiful, clean, and crystal clear on most days. Even on the windy days where we arrived, the water was absolutely spectacular. Our second category is Lobby and Check-In. Lobby and Check-In, we rate five stars. If you watch some of our other videos, you'll know Lobby and Check-In starts when you arrive at the Malay Airport. We were greeted by the staff from Ozen literally within seconds of walking out the door of the domestic terminal from our previous flight. We had two gentlemen escorting us to the Ozen Lounge, which is a special private lounge within the domestic terminal before we awaited our speedboat. Now it is worth noting that not every hotel hotel has their own private lounge, and in particular, a private lounge in the main airport terminal. A lot of hotels do share lounges outside of the terminal, closer to where the domestic flights leave from and not the international flights. And though some hotels do have their own private lounges at the seaplane terminal, there are very few that do have them in the international terminal itself. The speedboat transfer is an easy 45 minutes by a deluxe speedboat, which is a big deal, by the way. A lot of the hotels offer the exact same speedboat, and it's not the most pleasant experience. We were really surprised surprised and delighted to see this amazing speedboat that was completely enclosed, featured wonderful couches, as well as refreshments, magazines, and even Wi-Fi. The entire experience getting to the property was outstanding and honestly really truly deserves a five star. Once we got to the property, we were met with traditional drumming, flowers being tossed over our head, and even a conch shell being blown to announce our welcome. And then escorted to the lobby where we received a welcome drink of champagne, cold towels, and then went on a tour of the property. We met our butler immediately upon arrival who took us on a great tour of the property and directly to our room. Once in the room, our butler showed us all of the different features and amenities of the room, which brings us to our third category, rooms. Rooms were a four stars. We're in an overwater pool villa here at Ozen and it is fantastic. The interior in particular is absolutely stunning. The first thing you see when you walk in the door is a glass floor showing you all of the fish below the villa. The room itself is sizable with windows on every side featuring views of the lagoon. We have a great king bed facing that lagoon, as well as a sitting area, a small table and chair, a fully stocked mini bar that is included on the all-inclusive, as well as a sizable bathroom featuring a bathtub, indoor shower with a fully glassed-in wall, as well as a his and hers vanity. The actual vanity itself is beautiful, and as are a lot of the details in the room. All of the products in the room are super high-end, featuring Asprey products, as well as sunscreen, bug cream, and all of the other traditional amenities you'd expect at a five-star room. The exterior of the room 
features a beautiful long pool with a new day bed, as well as a dinette and a hammock. We are in one of the refreshed rooms here on property, so we have the additional day bed, as well as a new roof and some interior feature upgrades like new curtains. We absolutely love the refreshed rooms. They feel very nice, very clean, and also very modern. The hotel is working with what they have right now. The exterior of the rooms do look dated, and though the refresh is certainly helping with some new roofs, we'd love to see them do a little bit more to slightly add to the style from the exterior of the rooms and really complement the interior of the rooms where they put a lot of thought and effort into this refresh and trying to up the level of style and amenities within the room. We did also have the chance to tour a earth pool villa as well, which is their beach pool villa, and it is absolutely beautiful. It features warmer tones and a different color scheme than the overwater pool villas, but it is a great alternative if you're looking to stay on the beach side. That room features an outdoor bathroom with a shower, an outdoor tub, and the interior features of a his and hers vanity, the traditional king bed, mini bar, as well as a beautiful patio and pool. All of the earth pool villas do have an excellent view of the sunset, and they are currently building sunrise side pool villas as well, so that will be available in the future. Any of the earth villas are a great option to be directly on those white sand beaches. The sand here is so soft, so beautiful, and with that direct access to the lagoon, you basically have a swimming pool right there, regardless of what side you're on. Now, depending on weather and whether or not there's wind, we did see times where it was a little less desirable, but on most of the days, it was so fantastic. It really is another great option if you're not looking to spend the extra money for the water. One thing to call out in these villas is they all feature wine fridges. So all all of the premium all-inclusive resorts here in the Maldives do feature incredible mini bars that are included in the package. However, this resort goes above and beyond with a wine fridge. When we checked in, there was a white wine and a red wine. However, our butler assured us that if there was any wine we wanted, we could get it in the room. He offered a rosé, and I would never say no to rosé, so they brought two bottles of rosé that fit perfectly in our wine fridge, and that is a great amenity to take advantage of. If you'd like to see more details about the water villa or the earth villa, we did tour both of those rooms, and we do have them as YouTube Shorts which we've linked right up here in the top right corner. Our fourth category is service. Service, we rate four stars. Overall, we've had really positive service experiences across property. One of the standouts is housekeeping. And if you watch some of our other videos, you'll know that housekeeping is usually a weak point for a lot of hotels. However, at this property, it really is one of the five-star experiences that we've had here on property. Housekeeping comes twice a day and they do an incredibly thorough job. They come in the morning and in the evening. And one of the rare things about housekeeping is having amenities replaced. Even if you use one Q-tip or open one box of items, there's a new one waiting for you at the end of the day. As Marin said, housekeeping is usually one of the things that we are the artist on. And at this property, their housekeeping has really blown us away. So impressive. Every time you come to the room, all of the different things they've done. There's so many subtle touches that they've done here beyond just keeping the room clean and the windows impeccably crystal clear. They even go so far as to put custom mats over the glass floors so that the light from the buildings underneath and the light in the morning doesn't shine into your room. These subtle touches are something that really makes the housekeeping here outstanding. While the property does offer beach and pool service, we did feel that this is an area that could be greatly improved. If you were sitting just 50 feet or so away from the bar, it really felt like you were not in the available service area and nobody came around to collect or give beverages, as well as provide that beach service that is offered. If you were sitting directly at the pool, they were super attentive and all of the attendants were incredibly friendly. We feel like this might just be a training issue around servicing customers across the facility, not just within direct eyesight. One area around the beaches that I did find really impressive were actually the workers that were going out every day and raking up the seaweed, even going so far as to pick out the seagrass out of the ocean and proactively start taking that out so that it didn't wash up on shore. They worked extremely hard all day at picking up seagrass and the occasional trash that washed up on the beach. One thing we really loved about Ozen is the butler service. Our butler was fantastic. They were accessible via WhatsApp and they were really there for anything you needed. Even down to forgetting the spa vouchers that we received to go to the spa, he was able to go pick those up in our room and return them to the spa within five minutes. The butler service is fantastic. They manage your schedule from whether it's reservations, spa treatments, and more around the property. You can also contact them for buggy service. And even if they're not available to pick you up, they'll send someone who is. One area where we did have the most service interactions was dining. We had some fantastic service interactions and met some great people here on property. They were super enthusiastic about their job. And I thought a lot of the chefs that we interacted with that actually came out from the kitchen to explain all of their different dishes. And not just for us, we did see them going around to other tables and doing the same thing. There seemed to be a lot of enthusiasm around dining. And while most of those interactions were great, it does still seem like this property needs a bit of refinement around service, a bit more training to really elevate the experience for guests to a true five-star level of service. Speaking of food and beverage, that brings 
brings us to our fifth category, dining. Dining, we rate four stars. Overall, we've had really positive dining experiences on property. This property is a premium all-inclusive, which means that breakfast, lunch, dinner, all alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages, snacks, and the mini bar are included in the plan. It is an extremely generous all-inclusive plan, and there feels like there is constantly food available. Compared to some of the premium all-inclusives we've been to, they do offer a lot of benefits when it comes to that plan. The property does have a all-day dining restaurant, which is called Palms. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The breakfast and lunch and dinner options are buffet. However, they do feature a lot of fresh made-to-order options, including a sushi bar for lunch. We did really enjoy their breakfast buffet as well. That features a lot of ready-to-order stations, including a fruit station, as well as a juice station, where the attendant can make any juice requested, as well as anti accident juices, green juices, and fruit juices. We especially love the major order egg station where you can order French toast, eggs of any kind, including Benedict's and more. I thought that was a really great thing for food waste. And in general, I thought across that buffet, they really did a lot of things to prevent food waste and just improve the overall taste and quality of the cuisine that you were getting from the buffet by taking some of those items that might not do so well sitting out for long periods of time and actually prepare those fresh and made to order. A great example of that is at lunch, they had a sushi station where you could get sushi prepared on demand, made to order with various choices of fish from that day. We had a bunch of different rolls from octopus to salmon, tuna, eel, all kinds of things. The attendant prepared rolls for us, sashimi, nigiri. It was really a fantastic experience and so different from any other buffet sushi we've ever had because it really was prepared on demand. They also have a great specialty restaurant that's actually two restaurants. It's an overwater location called Traditions. It features both a Chinese restaurant called Peking and Indo Ceylon, which is their Indian restaurant. We had the opportunity to try both of those restaurants and they were absolutely exceptional. We particularly loved the Indian cuisine where we met the chef and were able to try a variety of dishes that he recommended. And it was overall a great experience. At all of these signature restaurants, they do also feature special cocktails and champagnes. So at the Indo Ceylon, we were able to indulge in Moet Chandon, and all of the restaurants feature different champagnes. There is also a great underwater restaurant here called M6M, so minus six meters. They feature a set menu and guests can select from a vegetarian, seafood, or meat menu. You can cross select options depending on what you're interested in. That's a fantastic experience and that's for anyone staying more than four nights. We felt the service at that restaurant was incredibly elevated as well as the cuisine. In addition to the cuisine and the ambiance, particularly at night with the fake candles that they had at each individual table, the scenery of the sharks swimming by, large jackfish, all kinds of fish out in the deep was such a beautiful and cool experience. We've done a couple underwater restaurants now and if you do come to the Maldives, it really is an incredible experience. It's 100% worth it. And I think it's so cool that if you are staying here for over four nights, it is actually included still in your all-inclusive package, which is normally an upcharge at almost every other resort. And they even feature a wine pairing. So if you are interested in wines, they do pair that with each dish and that is also included. There are also a number of bars on property. So there's the main pool bar, the beach bar, as well as a gin bar. The gin bar is open from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. and does feature specialty gins from around the world. While there are some upcharges on that gin menu, we felt the selection was pretty solid across the board and you can indulge in cocktails like French 75, special gin and tonics, as well as other signature cocktails. We would have love to see this gin bar open a little bit earlier because it is super hot during the day and it is one of the only air conditioned places on property. They do also have a venue called Lonu, which is open for lunch. It is Maldivian cuisine, which we both absolutely adore. The cuisine was quite elevated, particularly in the presentation. I do think that there were a couple of the dishes that could have been a little bit improved, but I think the biggest fault that that venue had was service. It is interesting because it is a new venue for them. So it will be interesting to see as that venue matures and they tweak it a little bit if both the service and the cuisine improves. But overall, it's an awesome opportunity to try Maldivian food. The resort does offer room service as well, but that does come at a charge. So just know that going in, if you would like to order room service, you will be paying extra for that experience. The hotel does offer a variety of special experiences as well, including a gala dinner. The gala dinner does happen typically on Friday nights, but this week it's on Thursday night, which is tonight. And it's an incredible experience to get to try a buffet of different options from around the world, as well as entertainment, a beautiful dining under the stars. Another thing to call out about their all-inclusive plan is that it's extremely flexible. 
flexible. Now, while a lot of all-inclusive plans that you might run into might stipulate that you can order something from, let's say, the appetizers, something from the entrees, and then a dessert, you have extreme flexibility here to order essentially anything you want. If you'd like multiple of a particular dish, you can have that. If you'd like to double up on your appetizers or your entrees, really the world is your oyster. If you went to dinner and then decide to go to the buffet after because you're still hungry, you have complete flexibility to do that. And that is really one of the things that makes this a great all-inclusive package. Our sixth category is facilities. Facilities vary at five stars, and not just because of the facilities that they have on property, but because of also what's included in that all-inclusive package. If you spend four nights here, you do receive a voucher per person for either a spa treatment or an activity at the water sports center. In addition to what you can use your voucher for, they offer a number of different excursions that are completely free of charge. While a lot of hotels do charge for excursions like sunset cruises, dolphin tours, or snorkeling excursions, you can actually do all of those included in your stay. We saw a lot of people going out day after day on the snorkeling excursions, and they actually take you out of the house reef. So you have the opportunity to explore a lot of the area completely included in that all-inclusive package. We did have the opportunity to try out their spa, which is included in that voucher if you stay four nights, and it was an amazing experience. Their spa is over water, and while it is on the older side, they've done a great job on the interior, and there is that incredible fish floor. So while your massage is happening, you can watch all of the fish swimming around underneath the overwater villa. Included in the package are five or six different massages and treatments that you can opt in for, and you can select that from a list when you book your massage. There is another set of massages that are available, so if you'd like to do an additional treatment, you can either use the credit from that voucher towards that massage or go in for a second massage or a second treatment. All of the treatments are incredibly reasonable for Maldives prices, so I don't hesitate to recommend a trip to the spa. The other area you can use that voucher is at the Water Sports Center, where you can use that voucher to go on a one tank dive or use that credit towards other activities at the Water Sports Center. We had an awesome time there. And if you follow some of our videos, you will know that I love kite surfing. They had kite surfing equipment. We had a couple windy days and I was able to get out there. And then the wind completely died, but we were able to go try one of their unique experiences here, which is the e-foil that they have. They have two e-foils here on property, which just goes to show you the amount of focus on equipment and activities that they have at that water sports center. They have free paddle boards and kayaks, and they have the perfect lagoon and the perfect location to really take advantage of those sports. Even on the windiest day that we had here, the other side of the island was perfectly calm water and we saw people taking advantage of it out on the kayak. It would have been a day that I would never go out on a kayak or a paddleboard, and yet that side was perfectly flat and perfectly calm. And that really is a unique advantage of the way their island is situated and the really protected lagoon that they have. While a lot of the buildings are definitely on the older side, they do have a lot of incredible amenities like the fitness center. We spent every morning at the fitness center, not just doing our typical workout, but also taking advantage of some of the activities that they have in the fitness center. They do feature a morning yoga at sunrise at the saltwater pool that is connected to the fitness center and the spa, as well as a floating meditation that was really kind of a surprising and amazing experience where we floated around for an hour led by an instructor who gave us a bit of a water massage as well as a cold towel over our eyes. It was kind of a sensory deprivation experience and we absolutely loved it. The fitness center really is one of the highlights here. Not only is it in a picturesque location, but they have really up-to-date modern equipment and a large variety of equipment as well. So if you are looking to pick a hotel for their gym, this really is a great option. Our seventh and final category is style. Style we rate four stars. Overall, the interior of the spaces is really beautiful and really beautifully renovated, including the Palms restaurant, the interiors of the rooms, and the interiors of a lot of the restaurants. The exterior of the property could really use a little bit of love. And while they are actively working on it, we really look forward to seeing how much they can push it in the future to really compete with a lot of the modern properties around the Maldives. Because this property did not fully close for an entire property renovation, and they are doing those renovations incrementally, it does kind of restrict their ability to change the architecture and some of the structures of the buildings in a more dramatic way that might modernize the style and bring it a little bit more up to date. But they have done everything that they can to modernize the interiors of all of the rooms, the restaurants, the bars, and there really are some great accents across property. The furniture choices are beautiful. They have a really nice mix of textures that they've used across the room with wood accents and wallpaper, really clever and colorful bed throws, or even the counter in this room is actually a giant beautiful blue piece of 
sea glass that has been composited into resin. It's one of the most unique counters I think we've seen in any room anywhere in the world, to be perfectly honest, and it has these beautiful copper sinks on it. It's a really cool and unique style, and we hope that they're able to do that on the exterior of this property as well over time. We really did absolutely love a lot of the features that they have on property, whether they were new or old, including those floors in the overwater villas where you can see those fish immediately upon entry into that villa, as well as the vanities and the bathrooms. And the rooms really do have that unique Maldives sense of place. We really loved the interior spaces of all of the restaurants with their sand floors, their day beds, their comfortable seating, especially when we're talking about the overwater restaurant traditions, the incredible red tones and excellent accents lighting across the board. Overall, we rate this property 4.4 stars. Being just a 45 minute speedboat from Mali is an incredible advantage. and We've had a wonderful four night stay here at Ozen Life Madu. We absolutely cannot recommend this property enough if you're looking for a great all-inclusive option here in the Maldives. So if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and make sure if you don't already to hit that subscribe button. We've got many more videos coming out from here in the Maldives as well as around the world. And if you follow us on Instagram, you will have already already seen our entire stay play out in our stories and our feed. So if you don't already, be sure to follow us at Voyager Group for up-to-date stories and highlights of where we are and what we're doing. And don't forget to go check out our website where we have full written reviews of all of the hotels that we stay at, as well as all of the photos that we take here on property. We have a lot of video, but we also have a lot of photos that don't get shared in these video reviews. So be sure to go check out those photos as well as our destination pages where we explain all the different things that you might wanna know depending on the destination you're going to and helpful booking tips, information about seasonality and much more. And as always, I'm Marin. And I'm Max. Or Voyager Guru. See you out there. <laughs>